What's up y'all, I'm Reed the Fishmonger and today we're gonna process a 100 pound yellowfin tuna core. What's up y'all, I'm Reed the Fishmonger and today we're gonna flay up a 100 pound yellowfin tuna core. A core just simply means head off, guts out, tail off. Let's get it cut up. All right, y'all, first thing we're gonna do is remove the collarbone. Right here was the pectoral fin. We're gonna slip our knife right underneath where the pectoral fin was and follow down. We're gonna hook right underneath the pelvic fin. And we're gonna come right down like so. Now we're gonna take our knife and we're gonna go in between those two pelvic bones and slide out. That is gonna allow us to pull on this entire collarbone and release it. And it'll come right off just like that. Plenty of good meat on that collarbone. We're gonna save that. Do not throw away your tuna collars, y'all. It's excellent stuff. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wedge my knife into that tuna, make sure I'm resting on top of the skeleton, and I'm gonna start pulling forward and we're just puncturing the outside. That way we can make sure we cut down and not lose out on any of that delicious tuna meat. When you peek in there, you can see that knife was running along those bones, nice and flush, no meat loss. That's exactly what we're looking for. And once we got it worked to that center spine, we can do everyone's favorite part about filleting a big tuna, and that's removing the hyaline. Cheat code for removing the hyaline, find the bloodline. That is right where you want to cut. So we're going right on top of that. And we're going to slide all the way down like so. And you guys, here's the money shot right here. Oh yeah, baby. Just look at that, guys. That is immaculate looking yellowfin. The fisherman that caught this for Captain Clay at Sun Seafood Market, thank you so much for taking such good care of your fish. It is such a privilege and an honor to work with fish that was so well taken care of. Thank you. All right, you guys, now it's time to remove the low loin and we're gonna get a little bit intimate with the tuna when we're removing the low loin. Because first, we're gonna stick the tip of our knife into the booty hole and we're going to slide right there, just getting a nice separation between the belly and the pelvic fin. Then right on top of that anal fin, we're going to work it down, making sure your knife is right on top of that skeleton, not losing any of that delicious yellowfin tuna meat. All right, you guys, we're going to cut through these rib bones, nice and easy. A nice gentle incision to go all the way to the top of that spine, like so. Now we've got just about our whole low loin off. We're gonna just have to cut through those last couple of bones. Now we just fully separated that low loin's top bones right there. It's gonna come off nice and easy now. And there's our low loin. Ooh. We're obviously still gonna have some trimming up to do here. We got this fat bloodline we're gonna cut out. All these rib bones we're gonna cut out. We did leave some of that bloodline and rib bones right here. Whew, that's a workout. All right guys, we're gonna flip her over. We're gonna remove that collar again. Puncture right underneath. The pectoral fin, come right down, right on top of that pelvic fin. Then we're gonna flip our knife around at a hard angle behind the head. Then you can go ahead and pop it right off. All right, after we remove the collar, we're gonna flip them back over and we're gonna flay the second side upside down. We're gonna enter our knife right here and make a nice line all the way down. Now this is crazy, look. You can see the knife, so you can actually easily see and make sure you're not losing any meat. Because you, look at that, we're scraping the bones. Once we're to the center, we're gonna do a gentle incision to get closer to the top of that spine. 
Now we're gonna roll them over. We're gonna pick up this fin. We're gonna go right underneath it. Wedge our knife in there. Make sure you see it on those bones so that way you know you're not losing any meat because you can visually see it, pretty cool. Right here is where those pin bones were connected to the skeleton. It's pretty easy to cut through them right there. And we are to the center. All right. Flip them back one last time. All right, you guys. We are to the center spine. We could have just removed the spine, done one of those pick up the spines, chop, chop, chop. But then we'd miss out on the fun of doing this. Find the bloodline, find that first pin bone. We're gonna go on either side of it. Dip your knife down, put some oomph behind it, and slide all the way down. Still connected a little bit, that's okay. Just break that connection and roll it right over. Look at that. There's low loin on side number two. And High loin on side number two. All right, you guys, once I'm done filleting my big tunas, there's always one more step before moving that big frame out of the way. Taking a spoon and going in between these big spine bones. And look at this, you guys. We take off these nice, big, thin slivers that is impossible to get with a fillet knife because it's tucked underneath there. So even if your fillet knife is laying perfectly flush on those bones, you're not gonna get this, and this is a tasty morsel right here. Absolutely phenomenal stuff. Now you're good to move on. All right, guys, now that he's scraped dry, we got lunch for later, we can move on to trimming up the rest. All right, you guys, so trimming up your low loin, first thing we're gonna do is slip our knife right underneath those rib bones, follow it all the way down, get as close to those rib bones as you can so that way you're not losing any of that delicious yellowfin tuna meat. And we're gonna scrape those all the way down just like so. Once you get to the bottom of them, where there's no more rib bones, you can make a hooking motion with your knife. And there you go. We got the ribs out. Now trimming tuna belly is something that I get a lot of questions about. I like using this 12 inch knife and let me show you guys what I like to do. I like to make sure that I'm getting underneath there at a paper thin layer of that membrane shaved off so that way you're not losing out on any of that meat. All right. There's our yellowfin belly. And yellowfin belly is not like bluefin belly. This isn't like high grade, super fatty stuff, but it is still delicious. Now we're gonna take our long knife and we're gonna make nice long motions, removing that bloodline. Getting as close to the bloodline as possible, making sure you don't cut into the meat and lose any of that delicious yellowfin tuna meat. Now you can see the meat is starting to be exposed because the bloodline dips in. That's where we want to cut down. All right. All right, now I just pick that whole bad boy up and that's nothing but bloodline. We didn't leave any of the good stuff in there. All right, that's a thing of beauty right there, guys. Uh, Beautifully, fully trimmed yellowfin tuna. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a killer day.